Hey, this is Dr. Farhan Kawaja, aka Doc Testosterone, and welcome to today's truths. Today is going to be about the essentials of testosterone. What the hell is testosterone? What does it do? Having high testosterone, what benefit will that do to your life every day? About your behavior, about your mentality, your body, your, your physiology, what will high testosterone do to you? And what will having low testosterone do to your body? What are the harms of having low testosterone in terms of behavior and day-to-day -day life and how you feel, your energy, your focus, your productivity? What is the reality of testosterone and sexual health? What does testosterone have to do with erections? What does it have to do with libido? What does it have to do with sexual performance? All of that will be revealed today in the essentials of testosterone. Then we will get into more truths. I will cover what are blood tests? What should you measure when you get a blood test? How can getting a blood test change your entire life? And then finally, the last truth will be about how to actually measure testosterone during a blood test. What should you ask for? What should you measure so you know the important measurements of testosterone? Because some of the measurements you get from these blood tests don't really matter. So all of that will be revealed in today's Testosterone Truths. Let's get started with the first topic. What does high testosterone actually correlate with? So first and foremost, you need to understand that testosterone is the male hormone. Testosterone corresponds and links with every single masculine characteristics. These include the primary sexual characteristics as well as the secondary sexual characteristics. The primary sexual characteristics are things like libido, erections, things that are more primary, more for our biology as a man. Secondary sexual characteristics are things like hair health. So both of those will be covered in today's video. So let's first start with penis size. I know a lot of you uh, have an interest in this topic, so I'm going to cover it. Early on in childhood, the amount of testosterone that is produced, that is released, that is synthesized by your body as a child directly links with how big your penis is. Now, there is no direct link. So this is probability. This is how science works. There is a statistically significant link between penis size and how much testosterone is released early on in childhood. Now, if you had a lot of testosterone released early on in childhood, that doesn't mean you have a big penis. The probability is that yes, your penis is big and vice versa. So this is the truth about penis size. Now, in a later video, I will get into things like what mentality should you have when it comes to penis size? If you have a small penis, how should you deal with it? And if you have a problem with that, with how big your penis is, and if you have any kind of issues or, or you're ashamed, then post that in the Facebook group and we will help you out and, and I will give you live feedback about that. But that's not what this video is about. I just want to cover the essentials of testosterone and any questions you have, post in the Facebook group. The second thing I want to talk about is hair health. A lot of you have male pattern baldness. Now, I used to suffer from male pattern baldness as well. And a lot of you have emailed me. A lot of you have direct messaged me about how to improve your hair health. I'm not going to get into that in this video. I've developed an entire truth about hair health. So I'm going to talk about all that in that video. But today I want to tell you that testosterone is very closely linked to hair health. This includes male pattern baldness as well as beard growth. And I will get into that in that video. The next thing I want to talk about is the main primary sexual characteristics that there is no doubt testosterone directly, directly links to, and that is libido. That is sexual energy, sexual appetite. So the first, first, first thing that will happen to you when you boost your testosterone naturally is that you will have a crazy sex freak vibe. That is the first effect that happened to me. Right now in my life, I am a sexual freak. I'm an animal. I'm turned on by everything. And I'm fucking my girlfriend quite a bit because I am always very, very high energy. I want to fuck all the time. And having high testosterone is directly linked to libido. And the fact that I doubled my testosterone doesn't mean that I doubled my libido. It probably means I 10 x my libido because my libido was nothing. It was shit. And that happened because of all my porn watching, sexual shaming, sexual anxiety. There's a lot of that. And we will get into all of that in a later video. 
today I just want to tell you that libido and sexual appetite, sexual energy is directly, directly linked to testosterone. The next thing is erections. There is a difference. The nighttime erections that you get, the morning wood, the it's called nocturnal penile tumescence, that is because of testosterone. So if you have no morning wood, you're not getting you're not getting boners at night during your dreams and so on, you might have low testosterone. Again, it is not just you're gonna have low testosterone if you don't have morning wood, no. But it is a sign of low testosterone. So keep that in mind. Now, the sex erections don't have only to do with testosterone. They also include dopamine and oxytocin and other neurotransmitters and other hormones. So I will get into that in a future video that is completely devoted to the topic of sex erections and morning wood and so on and so forth. But today I just want to tell you that testosterone is directly linked to morning wood. So if you have amazing morning wood, great. It's a sign of high T. If you don't, then you might want to think about why that's happening, what is happening in your diet, what is happening in your exercise, what is happening in your sleep, what is happening in your mentality, how can you boost your testosterone naturally by eating the right foods, taking the right herbs, the right spices, and having the optimum lifestyle for high testosterone. Now, of course, there are other benefits of testosterone that I'm not going to go into details with, but let me just cover them a little bit. Bone density, muscular fitness, how much muscle you can grow, how much fat you can lose. These are directly related to testosterone. And finally, let me get into the mental characteristics that are associated with high testosterone. What's going to happen to you when you start boosting your T is that you will become more confident. You will become more assertive. You will become more risk-taking. They've done studies with stockbrokers and investors in Wall Street where they find that people who have a high testosterone in the morning tend to make more money during that day versus the people who had low testosterone in the morning. Now, this is the study where they didn't do blood tests, but they did a mucus test of testosterone, which is not exactly accurate, but this is the data that we have. And we find that risk taking is the one characteristic that these stockbrokers, these investors, these Wall Street guys did more of because of their high testosterone. And that is what is related to having high testosterone. So if you are going through life as a pussy, not taking risks, having a lot of fear, it might have to do with low testosterone. Now, of course, there are other hormones involved. We want to balance our hormones. We want to have low cortisol. We want to increase our confidence, our assertiveness, our dominance. But we also want to be grounded. We also want to be calm. We also want to be peaceful. We also want to be intimate and vulnerable. So there is a balance. We want high testosterone, but also low cortisol. This is the key that a lot of fitness YouTubers and all these people that are coming out with formulations of high testosterone don't understand. What's important is to have a lifestyle where you are eating food, taking herbs that allow you to be grounded and have high testosterone. That is the key. And the last thing I want to mention is as you age, as our brains sometimes become more and more degenerated, Right? You look at disease like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease. These are all neurodegenerative diseases. They degenerate the brain through various mechanisms. However, what has been found is that having high testosterone sometimes alleviates, sometimes makes less things like depression, things like anxiety, fear, having very low self-esteem sometimes. Right, A lot of men, you know, including us as we grow older, we're going to have this problem of fear, not being able to face the world around us, not being able to walk around the world with ease. And the way to alleviate all that, the way to reverse all that is by continuing to boost our testosterone throughout our entire life. Now, let me get into a little bit of what will happen if you have a low testosterone. Now, from the clients that I've coached one on one, as well as our entire Testosterone Truth tribe, things that I learned about myself and about my journey, with low testosterone, the first problem you will have is low libido. You as a man, even if you're in your 50s or 60s, you should be fucking turned on 
by a hot girl. You should be turned on by a sexy girl. Now, that doesn't mean you have to cheat on your wife or your girlfriend or your, your spouse, your partner. You just get turned on. You don't have to do something about it. But the fact that you're being turned on and have that masculine energy for a feminine being, that means your testosterone is okay. It's that simple. It is just a sign of having normal testosterone. In today's world, because of the foods we're eating, the fact that we're not moving, the fact that we are not expressing ourselves to the world and letting our brains be happy with what it needs, testosterone drops. And because of that drop in testosterone, we all become pussies. And then we start listening to the media and listening to what the fuck is happening, that what they're trying to brainwash you with. If you don't want that, then continue throughout this entire life. Way after you're done with me, continue this throughout your entire life. Keep increasing your testosterone levels. One of the final things I want to reveal in this particular truth is this thing about confidence. The one thing that I noticed in myself is I used to be very scared of my insecurities, very scared of what I'm afraid of, what my parents have told me, what I've been fed that I should fear in the world and not express myself fully in every way, socially, physically, mentally, talking, just, just express myself what the fuck I am as a man. This was lacking when I had the testosterone of an 82-year-old man back in Las Vegas four years ago. Today, now that I've doubled my testosterone, my total testosterone and my free testosterone, and we're going to get into that soon in this video, I am able to be confident even with my insecurities, even with what I have a fear that I am not enough of. Let me put that another way. There are certain things that I feel I lack as a man, certain things that I feel that I'm not good enough as a man because they were fed into me as a child. All of that shit, I am now confident to reveal. I'm okay with my insecurities. I'm okay with my fears. I'm owning and I'm confident in those fears. That's the trick. The trick is not to get rid of the fear. Have the fear. Have the insecurity. Be happy with it. Be happy that you have a chance in your life to struggle and overcome the confident barrier, the confidence barrier. You want to overcome that and be thankful for that and have immense gratitude and appreciation that you have this opportunity in your life. Let me also destroy a fucking myth and misinformed shit in the world. Someone with high testosterone doesn't have to have six-pack abs and big muscles and, and be all jacked. Fuck no. Some of those guys have very low testosterone, actually. What you need to understand is this. Look at a guy like Jeff Bezos or Picasso or Steve Jobs. These guys have fucking high testosterone, higher testosterone than any motherfucking YouTube celebrity fitness trainer guy. High testosterone is not necessarily linked to having a particular body composition. I have clients who have 7% body fat, 8% body fat, and guess what? They have low testosterone. They are not with high energy, high productivity, high focus. They're fucked up in the head. These guys have low testosterone probably, now this is my personal opinion here, because they are depriving themselves of food and nutrition and carbohydrates and good fats. This is the issue that is going on in today's world. You are looking at what someone looks like and making a judgment, and look, this is normal, I do it too all the time. You're making a judgment about someone's value or someone's worth based on the way they look. Okay, respect, but never make a judgment about someone's testosterone based on the way they look. I've had friends in grad school, I remember this one guy, I'm not gonna tell you his name, but he had the sex drive of an animal, crazy sex drive, and he would fuck his girls for hours in bed. Very high testosterone. But guess what? He looked like a little kid. He looked wimpy. He looked skinny. Look at a guy like James Dean. Very famous porn star. Doesn't look jacked. Look at him. 
He's a skinny, wimpy looking guy, but his testosterone is off the charts. When I was in Vegas, we were at an adult conference, you know, just like a porn star conference. James Dean was there and I walked up to him and I asked him, what is your diet like, man? What is your exercise routine like? So first thing he says is, bro, first of all, I don't exercise. The sex is my exercise, duh. Second of all, this is one secret that he revealed to me. He says, whenever I start eating food, I first finish a bunch of vegetables and salad. I finish that first. I get myself a little bit full and then I go to the meat and the dairy and the eggs and and whatever else there is that he eats, but that's only a small portion. So the majority of his meals are vegetables and fruits that he eats before he starts eating the actual entree. So this is a secret that James Dean told me and this is what I'm revealing to you here. Let's get to the second truth for today. A blood test can literally change your entire fucking life. My blood test that I did when I was in Vegas and I found out that I had the testosterone levels of an 82 year old man, both my free and my total, that's when I realized that I needed to go on a journey to increase my testosterone levels, become more masculine, become more confident, have better sexual performance, sex drive, erections, everything. And I got there, but I was only able to get there because I measured my blood. I did blood tests in Las Vegas, multiple ones, because I wanted to be sure. You have to, have to, have to get a blood test done. Your full blood test. You don't have to only get your testosterone levels checked. Get your vitamin levels checked. Get zinc checked. Get those things checked that most men have low in their life. So I'm going to get into the challenge later and it's going to have to do with this. But if you have not gotten your blood test done, this is what I want you to do. Get your total testosterone checked, your free testosterone checked, and your bioavailable testosterone checked. When you get your bioavailable testosterone checked, also get your SHBG checked, sex hormone binding globulin. Get that level checked because then you can do mathematically, you can calculate your bioavailable testosterone from that number. If you want to know how to calculate different measures of testosterone from the SHBG number, as well as your total testosterone, then I'll be happy to help you out. Just Type it in the Facebook group and I will respond to you exactly how to do the math behind measuring free and bioavailable testosterone. But what I recommend to you is have the blood center do it so you can go there next time when you have boosted your testosterone, when you feel more confident, when you feel that you're having better sex. Go there and measure your testosterone levels again so you can prove to yourself that it worked. If you don't measure it, you're never ever going to improve it. Blood test can literally change your life. I'm going to say it again. So besides getting those testosterone levels checked, also get vitamin D checked, zinc checked, magnesium checked. These three are also very important. This is at a minimum. Get that done first. If you've already gotten that done and you want to get more stuff done, then comment on the Facebook group and I'll tell you what more you can get done to learn more about your body. There's tons of stuff I've done and it's all very exciting, like getting your sperm checked and other nutrient levels which are really, really interesting and and will teach you a lot about your physiology, your biochemistry. Now, how do you do that? For me, I'm Canadian. For us, it's basically free. Just go to the blood center, you fill out this requisition the doctor gives you, you go to the blood center, they take your blood, in a few days, you have your results. And then you want to go to that same blood center for your second test to see if you've improved. You don't want to jump from one blood center to another. That's not good because remember, there's some caveats, some nuances here. The reference range that you get depends on the blood center you are at. Now, reference ranges vary. When a blood center first starts, they have to do the certification and and whatnot. So they have this reference range and they monitor a bunch of ages, a bunch of different demographics, ages, body types, they do all that. And then they give you this reference range, but that doesn't mean it's the reference range for your age. Okay? If you want to know what your age's testosterone level should be, then you have to do more research. And I've done that research for you. So if you're a certain age, then you need to see what the reference range is for your age. What are the normal average testosterone levels for your age? When you look at the reference range you get at the blood center, it ain't it. That is not it. That is the wrong thing to follow for you. 
and I've made a YouTube video specifically about this topic. If you haven't seen it yet, go to the YouTube channel and watch that today. Now, the reason you should get vitamin D, magnesium, as well as zinc checked is because these three are the micronutrients that are the most deficient in men all around the world. So get these three checked as well. If you have a nutrient deficiency like zinc, vitamin D, magnesium, your body can't produce testosterone. <laughs> Do you understand? You can be working your ass off every single day, lifting weights, eating the right food, having the right mentality, but you're never going to boost your testosterone if the actual molecules needed to synthesize testosterone aren't there in your body. If you're not eating them, if you're not consuming them. So I highly, highly recommend get your testosterone levels checked. Because let me tell you what might happen if you do that. Tim Ferriss, I'm sure you know this guy. Tim Ferriss had his blood checked and he found out that he had very low selenium levels. And selenium is essential for production of testosterone. And that is why he recommended Brazil nuts in his paradigm, in his regimen. And I recommend that too, because Brazil nuts have very high content of selenium. And he found that out through a blood test. And this motherfucker has crazy testosterone levels now. Like, I applaud this guy. He did amazing. Another one of my friends, not going to tell you his name, but he found out that he had low testosterone. And then he did an additional test and he found out that he had a tumor in his pituitary gland. Now, what the fuck is a pituitary gland? Let me tell you about how testosterone is actually made by the body. And then we will get into this story about the tumor. And then finally, I will end with the third truth and the final truth and then the challenge. So this is how testosterone is synthesized by your body. Now, in the brain, you have a region known as the hypothalamus. It releases GnRH gonadotropin releasing hormone. GnRH travels to the pituitary gland where it binds to a receptor and the pituitary gland releases LH, luteinizing hormone, which travels all the way to the testes. Again, there it binds to a receptor and the testes in those Leydig cells produce testosterone. That is how testosterone is synthesized, very simply. Now, here's the thing. If the pituitary gland has a tumor, then it may not be able to release luteinizing hormone. If luteinizing hormone is not released, then it cannot go and travel to the testes to synthesize testosterone. Now, of course, there is testosterone that could be synthesized just by the testes. It is possible. The body sometimes compensates. There are ways to do that. But you will have a significant problem with your testosterone levels if you have a fucking tumor in your brain in the areas that help produce testosterone. Simple as that. So you need to get your blood levels checked. Now the third truth. Your total testosterone doesn't matter. If you go check your total testosterone, say, oh, my total, my, it doesn't matter. Your testosterone, your total testosterone could be a thousand. It doesn't matter. Your free testosterone matters. Why? Free testosterone is the testosterone that your body can actually use in the moment to give you an erection or to give you libido so you can have sex with your girlfriend or to build muscle mass in the moment to have fat loss in your body, to have high confidence, assertiveness. Free testosterone is it. And what's even more important than free testosterone is the bioavailable testosterone in your body. Now, what do all these mean? Total testosterone is a total number of molecules of testosterone in your whole body. It doesn't matter what they're bound to. They're just there. But the testosterone that is bound to stuff like estrogen, SHBG I talked about earlier, that testosterone cannot be used. It's bound testosterone. Free testosterone is that which is not bound to anything. That number is important. That is why you're getting it checked. Bioavailable testosterone is the free testosterone plus the testosterone that is bound to albumin. Now, albumin is a protein that binds to testosterone, but the binding is so weak that that testosterone can unbind very easily and be used, be free to be used by us to have sex, to have libido, for erections, for performance, for anything you need to express yourself in your masculinity. 
So that is why bioavailable testosterone is even more important than free testosterone. And that is what I want you to measure. That is truth number three. Now, before I move on to the challenge, I want to tell you certain details that are very important about me personally. When I did my first blood test, I had very, very low vitamin D levels. I also had very crazy low zinc levels. Now, both of those nutrients I had to boost first before I can even have a chance to increase my testosterone naturally. So what did I do? I started doing vitamin D supplementation. I started taking droplets of vitamin D at a very high dose for the first month or two. And then I started maintaining that dose of vitamin D. The same thing with zinc. I started taking zinc supplementation initially at a decent dose, not not a normal dose, a little bit higher than normal. And then I maintained my dose. And now, nor do I take vitamin D supplementation, nor do I take zinc supplementation. I actually don't take any supplements except one, and that is the herb that I designed, that I formulated myself. That is the only thing because I know that I don't need any other supplements because I get them all from food. But to get that edge specifically on my sexual performance, my libido, even to get it more, to get that edge, I take the formulation that I made. Now, this information, if you want to know more about the formulation, I will reveal that more in a future video as well as the webinar that we will have on the 14th day of this Testosterone Truths course. Now, let me tell you something about the importance of measurement. I have had clients who completely changed their life in terms of confidence and assertiveness when they started boosting their testosterone. It's just not it's not just me, man. That is truth number three, and let me get to the challenge for today. Get your blood test done and share the results to the Facebook group. That's it. If you have already done your blood test, then share the results that you already have to the Facebook group. Be vulnerable. Be real. We will give you feedback. The doctor that you may talk to that did your blood test may not know shit about testosterone. My doctors had no idea about the reality, about what the reference ranges are, what is low testosterone, what is normal testosterone, what is high testosterone. They had no idea. A lot of the clients that I've had, they've been prescribed testosterone injections to boost their testosterone. The doctors aren't even aware that we can boost testosterone naturally through lifestyle changes. They're not even aware of that. The medical school studies, the education that they've received in their urology program or their endocrinology program. They had no way to learn about nutrition unless they did it themselves because in medical school, in residency, there is no real class about nutrition. There's sometimes maybe four hours of the whole program is dedicated to nutrition and diet. Doctors don't know shit. So I highly, highly encourage you post on the Facebook group. A lot of us already know. A lot of us have dealt with it ourselves personally and we will help you out. That is the challenge for today. Thank you for listening to today's Testosterone Truth. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, man, and fucking make it happen.